Alright, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Super here and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 1 video. Today, this is going to be a pretty quick one because it's just talking about some news about Tremor and also showing off a little intro dialogue of Omni-Man and Johnny Cage. Ooh, these are going to be hot. One of my favorite things about playing player matches is that we actually do get to see some intro dialogue. I hope they change that in the future and have it be ranked and combat league also show the intro dialogue because it's some of the best thing about mortal kombat since they introduced it man hearing the characters interact with each other leave a like on the video if you're excited for omni man let's check this out they don't make movies about heroes like me because duh you're the villain bro Duh! I don't know if you realize this, J.K. Simmons, but you're the one that's the bad guy in this world. You're the one that's trying to take it over. <laughs> let's let's hear it again. Hold up. They don't make movies about heroes like me. Because duh, you're the villain, bro. Uh. Sick. All right, one more time, one more time, one more time. They don't make movies about heroes like me. Because, duh, you're the villain, bro. It feels good that they actually um, have J.K. Simmons doing his voice. It just feels more authentic. You know, Arnold, I think the voice actor for Arnold and the T-800 did a good job for what it was worth. But knowing that it wasn't Arnold Schwarzenegger himself was a little bit disappointing. Uh, it just feels more authentic when it's actually the voice actor uh so when sylvester stallone was the one that was doing um rambo's voice it just felt more authentic so i'm really glad that they got jk simmons to do his voice it just feels so much better by the way look at the facial feature for omni man especially compared to the way he looked in the first trailer he looks so good damn i can't wait for this character November 9th can't come any sooner, ladies and gentlemen. Once Omni-Man comes out, I promise I will be streaming more again. I've just been dealing with a lot of, uh, you know, health issues, especially with my gut and nothing serious. So don't you don't have to worry about me, but it's been bothering the hell out of me for the last like month. Really annoying. But the other news that I have for you guys is that Tremor has been confirmed to not be released with Omni-Man. So Tremor has his own separate release date. November 20th is when Tremor will be released for Mortal Kombat 1. This came as a huge surprise to me because I thought that a cameo fighter was going to be paired up with a main character fighter and release at the same time. Um, but the fact that I didn't see Tremor's release date or having tremors name saying uh you know alongside omni man to be released on november 9th i'm like what is going on here and yeah it's confirmed that tremor will be not only released separate separate but he will also be sold separate uh so for example premium members combat pack members are gonna have tremor one week early on november 20th but Tremor will also be available to purchase individually on November 20. So if you don't if you don't get the you know combat pack, you'll be able to buy him individually on November 20th, along when uh, he's available for the premium and combat pack holders. So I am disappointed. I'm not gonna lie because I I wanted to not only have Omni Man to play with, but I wanted Tremor to play with because it seems like Tremor is gonna be a real game changer when it comes to cameo system in MK1. And the only reason I could see this happening is they want to spread the DLC content out a little bit more. And what I mean by that is there's big chunks of space where we are not really going to be getting any new dlc content for example omni man comes out november 9th then maybe at the end of december we get another dlc character then maybe in february we get another one so there's big chunks of time where we we're not going to be getting much right so maybe this is a way for them to have 
more of a consistent schedule, more of a consistent um, release for DLC content. So there won't be too much chunk in between uh, DLC content. So for example, obviously Omni-Man comes out November 9th, Tremor comes out the 20th of November. Then at the end of December, we get another DLC character. Then maybe mid-January, we get the cameo. Then February, we get the DLC character. And then it goes on like that. That's the only logical explanation I have for not releasing Tremor at the same time as Omni-Man. And as if that's her thinking, you know, I'm kind of all right with it. Uh, because it does feel like you get something new closer uh, compared to the big you know, chunks of time that it would have taken normally for uh, for DLC characters to come out. Um, but I was, like, really looking forward to playing Tremor. So I'm disappointed, but at the same time, I'm like, all right, if they want to, you know, change things up to pr- give us, like, a more consistent stream of content, then, you know, I'll, I'll take it. But I am salty that I'm not going to be able to play Tremor at the same time as Omni-Man. And to be honest, a lot of people feel the same way. A lot of people are very upset that Omni-Man and Tremor are not going to be released together, which is definitely understandable uh, because we sort of expected the DLC character to come in as a package with the Cameo Fighter or vice versa. But... I guess we're going to have to wait till the 20th. I don't know if that's going to be the case only with Tremor or if that's going to be the case with every cameo moving forward. Um, But I definitely wanted to keep you guys informed on that and show you the intro dialogue that Ed Boon tweeted out with Omni-Man and Johnny Cage. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.